Hey there, booktube. Welcome back to my channel. Today is September, September 5th. Today is my actual birthday. And because it is my birthday, I'm clearing out all the gifts that I have received recently so I can make room for all these wonderful new gifts that I'm going to be getting today. No, no, that's not really true. I'm just doing my book haul. But with my book haul, I'm also doing an unboxing because I received this awesome gift from Owl Crate that I am going to unbox today. This one was a gift from Ariel Bissette. Yes, Ariel Bissette sent me a birthday gift. Why? You don't believe me? Okay, okay, all right, fine. So that's not really true. So remember when we had Booktubeathon and we had some daily video challenges? I submitted some of the daily challenges and I actually won a gift. I got second prize in one of the daily videos. And so my gift was this Owl Crate box that I haven't opened yet. I just received it maybe last week. And I decided that I would leave it and unbox it with all of you. So first I'm going to tell you the books that I received or bought during August. And then we're going to do our unboxing. So first up are the books that I received from publishers. I got Carla Negger's Thief Smart. And this one is about a young boy who witnesses his parents being murdered. And he is kidnapped and held for ransom. But before they're able to collect the ransom, he escapes and he's able to identify the, the killers. And decades later, one of them resurfaces and starts to threaten him. I haven't read this one yet, but it is a thriller, so I'm looking forward to getting to that one. Then I received Dirty Wars and Polished Silver. And this one is a memoir by Linda Schuster. She was a war correspondent all across the world. And it's about her life growing up in Detroit, how she saw her mother being a housewife and her decision not to live that life and so she left home really early went to live on a kibbutz in israel and from there she just started traveling the globe falling in love losing her relationship finding new ones and eventually becoming the Polish silver is about her eventual transition to becoming the wife of an ambassador this one is a really interesting read and i read and reviewed it on my blog and I also have a giveaway there on my blog, so I'm going to leave a link to my blog post in the description box. If you'd like to win a copy of this one, you can go check that blog post out. Other books that I got from the publisher, I also received The Windfall by Diksha Basu. This one is about life in India compared to the life that Indian immigrants have in the United States. So, you know, immigration is one of my really big themes and I love reading books about immigration. This one was really funny because it compared these the lives of people who are moving within India with people who move outside of it. This one was a really great read because the attitude was satirical. It was this author's comparison between people who are so insecure in themselves that they keep trying to compare themselves with other people, trying to copy other people, when in fact the other people are also doing the same thing. This one is a really great read and I recommend it highly. I also received How to Behave in a Crowd by Camille Bordas and I got this one from the publishers as well. This one has a really interesting cover in that the name of the author does not appear anywhere on the front. It only appears on the side, on the spine. This one is about a family of six siblings and their parents. And the narrator is the youngest of the bunch, Isidore, who is 11 years old when we meet him. And the novel transverses, I think, two to three years of their lives and some of the things that they experience and how they react to them. This is a family of overachievers. All the children are skipping grades and achieving PhDs. In fact, three of the siblings successfully defend their PhDs during the course of this novel. The other siblings, they're skipping grades, and the only one who is different is Isidore, the narrator. He is the only normal one. So. All the children are exceptional except him, so he's the exception to the exception. So because the narrator is the youngest in his family, the title is about him learning how to behave by watching his older siblings, by watching his parents, by engaging the adults and his peers, and learning how to be by his social interactions, but also about whether or not these are real role models for him because he, the questions that he's asking, some of the answers that they provide are not the answers that you think that a young 11 or 12 or 13 year old child should be hearing. This one was hilarious. I read it, I laughed out loud in a lot of different places and I recommend it except that this is not a novel for children. There's some crude language, some graphic descriptions and scenes that I don't think would be appropriate for an 11-year-old child to be writing about. But 
as a novel for adults, it is a really funny read. And I was really excited to receive this and to read it. You can check out my review on my blog. Then I have these four books that I bought. First up is Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley, which I know is a national bestseller. And it has something to do with a dog, but I'm not supposed to know too much about it. Because, in fact, the back blurb says, The magic of this novel is in the read, so we don't want to spoil it by giving away too many details. This is a story about that special someone. And it goes on about who that someone is. Lily, who's a dog, who's this the narrator, I suppose, the narrator's best friend. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it pretty soon because it actually fits into a challenge that I'm doing. And I'll tell you more about it when I read it. Other books that I bought, White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I read this a really long time ago. But I saw this copy at the library sale for $2. So I picked it up. And this is the cover that I like. I like the simplicity of this cover and I know it had something to do with multiple cultures and multiple families and the way their lives intersected and I think that this is the one that has a lot of Jamaican heritage and I remember reading it, I remember loving it, I can't remember the details so when I saw it in the library sale I picked it up and I want to reread it so I have that one. Then we have The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, and I also bought this one at the library sale. I've been wanting to read this book for a while, so I was pretty excited to find it and to find it for $2 at the library sale. So I don't know too many of the details about this, except that it's about a man who reads a book that he really enjoys and sets out to try to find other books by the same author, except that something weird starts happening, like the books start to disappear, and he has to try to figure out what happened to the books. I really enjoy bookish books. It kind of reminds me of the synopsis of the 24-hour bookstore where that man was chasing down readers of a book, not the author. So I'm looking forward to reading this one pretty soon. And the last book that I bought myself in August is this one, which I talked about last month because I had it on my TBR. I think I also had it on a prediction video. So I had a copy out from the library and then I went to the bookstore and I found this one on sale. So, you know, I picked it up so that I could return the other one to the library and have this one in my collection. This one is the book that Bill Gates had put on his best books recommendation list. So I would wanted to read it. I started reading it, but I haven't gotten too far. I think this one is going to make a really fun read because it's presenting important information in a format so it's answering questions that you have instead of just giving you bulk information. So like one of the questions that it asks, if an asteroid was very small but super massive, could you really live on it like The Little Prince? And you know The Little Prince book, that's a book by Antoine Saint-Exupéry. And so this is the illustration of the little planet that The Little Prince came from. So I think that that's a fun way of looking at science and I look forward to reading that one. And so now, now we get to our unboxing. Unboxing. Owl Crate. I received this box some time ago. It has really been an exercise in patience to not open it right away, but I wanted to open it with you. Oh man, I probably should have done some of this off camera, right? <laughs> Ooh, Owl Crate. This is my very first subscription box, so I am very excited. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm very excited about this. So this is a spoiler warning. It tells you exactly what's in the box, so you probably should read this afterwards if you want to just experience the gift in an organic way. And I do! So first up are these little curly cues. And oh my goodness! I love socks. I love socks. These are called out of print. And they are polka dots. And these are Edgar Allan Poe. This is a picture of Edgar Allan Poe on the, on the sock. Why do I have it upside down? Edgar Allan Poe. Woohoo! And then this is coffee. Coffee sampler. Two ounce coffee sampler. The Dark Arts Roast. Death before decaf, it says. <laughs> That's really funny. So it's a special offer for All Crate members, and it tells you on the back the flavor notes. That's really cool. Oh my god, how did they know? <laughs> this is a splendid pen, fountain pink. 
with purple ink. Purple is my favorite color. Purple is my favorite color. So I just really enjoy anything that is purple, anything that has to do with purple. And yeah, I'm loving it. I love pets. I love stationery. But I mean, come on now. No mourners, no funerals. Among them, it passed for good luck. When everyone knows you're a monster, you don't need to waste time doing every monstrous thing. That's a little bookmark from Lee Bardugo. And those are quotes from Six of Crows, which I've never read because, you know, I'm not really into that kind of fantasy stuff. But this, this box is so me. We are, here's a little decal, a little sticker, which says, we are made light, the darkest acts. I guess this is maybe a promo for something. I don't know. But I like violin. I'm trying to learn to play the violin. And... As a matter of fact, no, it wasn't this video. In one of the videos that I made for Booktubeathon, I was playing the violin. So this is pretty apropos. Then we get to Sleepy Hollow and other short stories by Washington Irving. It's really cool. I like the back. I like the cover. I like this little matte cover. Then we have a little pin. And this one just has a crow on it. I think it's a crow. I guess it's a crow, right? And it has a little quote on the back. It says, something wicked this way comes. I'll create number 30. Oh, so I guess they put a pin. I think I heard that, right? They put a pin in each one of their boxes. That's cool. Ooh. Her heart is no longer hers to give. Whoa, look at that cover. Oh my goodness. It actually shows up better on camera than it does in person. That is really interesting. I'll create exclusive cover. Her heart is no longer hers to give. And this is the back. It says, I chose this. Dear Owl Crater. Okay, let's open this. Oh, okay. Dee Moreno is out of options. Her home life sucks, to put it mildly, and she's about to get booted from her boarding school. The only place she's ever felt free, for lack of funds. But this is a world where demons exist, and the demons are there to make deals. One human body part in exchange for one wish come true. So this is not my usual genre. This is not a book that I would pick up to read ever, probably. <laughs> but because I got it from Alcrate, I'm going to check it out and see whether I enjoy it or not. Because you never know how you're going to like something until you try it, right? This is a really great cover, though. My goodness. I like the black with the red. The Hearts We Sold is the title. The Hearts We Sold... Her heart is no longer hers to give. That's what it's saying. Oh, this is a letter from the author. Emily Lloyd-Jones, Dear Owl Creator. I love stories about tricksters. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then a little sticker. I think this is a sticker. It says, I chose this, Emily. Oh, that's really nice. And then in the bottom, the theme of the September box. This is an invitation for me to subscribe. The theme of the September box is mythical creatures. Flip for a sneak peek. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty cool, right? There is one more. Oh, this is really cute. This is a little pin, which says, I chose this. I chose this. I write a lot about choosing the life that you want to lead. I'm not so great with doing it myself, but I am very interested in anything that has to do with choosing your life so that is a really great message for me to put on a little pin so that is a great pin for me to have so that was my first all crate box and i thank you so much for sharing it with me so that was my august haul so i have these eight books plus the book in my all crate box i have these eight books So that's my August haul. Thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below if you've read any of these books and want to chat about them. So until next time, happy reading. Bye!